Hello, my name's Karim Newton and we're here today in Oxford Circus asking Londoners about topics to do with black issues and race. Well, I think black parents, we have to give our kids chance. Yeah. We don't have to look what people are saying because so many times black community don't always look in society, what society are talking about, you know. Mm -hmm. So if your kid have a talent, push them. Don't, oh, you can do it, oh, you are black, you can do it. No one can judge anyone, no one can tell anyone, no, you can do it. We are blacks, we are proud of it, but we are human beings. Everyone is human being. This world doesn't belong to anyone. So if you are black there, or your mom there, support your kids and believe in their dreams. Um, it's, it's interesting. It's an, it's a, it can be a cultural thing as well when it comes to sort of being hard on the children. Um, obviously, like from Caribbean backgrounds myself, I mean, I've been lucky with my sort of grandparents. They've never really sort of been that harsh on my um, upbringing. They've always showed me love and even when I'm wrong and, you know, they've even sort of sat me down and made sure. But I've never like got like a, like a, a beating or anything like that. But, but in terms of like discipline and like, like my parents, my grandparents were very good in discipline and sort of giving me sort of a lot of love really, essentially. So it, it depends, depends how you've been brought up and culturally it, it is a big difference, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, when you did do something wrong, what kind of things would you do like get as a punishment? Um, Obviously, you got shouted at, you got told off. Um, obviously, the naughty step, um, but never like a sort of, like I said, a harsh sort of beating or sort of like a sort of, you know what I mean? So I've always been sort of lucky in that sort of sense, in that, in that. But yeah, that was more what I got really, sort of. And were you raised here? Was I raised? In London? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raised in, born East London, Bo. Yeah, so I'm. Um, born like sort of yeah east londoner um my mum's half jamaican my dad's from a caribbean island called monstrat so kind of yeah so i've had that sort of but i've kind of got both sort of mixtures really because my nan's like a third generation polish jew so i kind of got sort of yeah so i've kind of essentially an english drake really so i've got that sort of <laughs> um jewish side of me as well so i kind of been you know disciplined in all sort of you know, culturally, really, so, yeah. And yeah. what techniques would you use, like, on your children, or if you do have any children now, what techniques do you use on them? Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting one, because, like I said, I've always been brought up with a lot of love, like, you know, it's, you know not going into too much detail, but my mum was a single mum, but, you know, it's obviously hard raising, being a single mum, but my mum's always sort of given me love or given me every, everything. I've not I've obviously had everything, but, but I'd like to essentially raise my children in that way really so whenever they're wrong or right it's just disciplining them in a, in a more of a, a wise sort of loving way really which I kind of believe in that sense really. yeah it's an interesting one yeah it is an interesting one do you know what it's really funny because I feel like there are some I don't know I feel like yes there is a lot of uh particularly I don't, I don't know my you know my the caribbean side of my family are very very strict and you would get beaten like yeah. literally beaten mm. um but i think there is a lot of i don't know sometimes i think it was particularly when i worked in schools i think sometimes there's a lot of back chat and a lot of yeah. um like why are you still out at this time on a school night like why yeah. are you not at home yeah. and, th and that for me I feel like is something that perhaps the more a more white community would not allow you know yeah. the, the children out on the streets late like I live in Brixton and I sometimes think. I'm like it's a Tuesday night babes <laughs> you know what's <laughs> why, going on <laughs> why are you not doing your homework or having tea like it, you know it's half nine come on honey but I, d I don't know like it's funny it's yeah. just it's a bit of both I don't know if they're too harsh. I, I, quite, I'm, I agree with strict, okay. strict upbringings. As a parent myself, Ooh. Uh, um, some, some can be too harsh, but equally, I think we have, in some cases, not harsh enough, to be honest. If I think about my children and how I was raised back in my generation and just looking at some of their peers, I think that's, this is why some of them are a bit too unruly, because that discipline isn't harsh enough and it's not there. 
Um, so it's, it's a fine line though. It's a very fine line. So uh, final answer, no, no, it's not too Damn, we got that. Um, I don't want to generalize, um, but I, I think we, we, we are, like I said, we're not having too much of an input in our children's lives. So there's not enough um, structure for these kids. Like, you know, it's for, for example, you know, working in the city, coming home at five, five six o'clock in the evening and school kids are still out. They're not in like youth centers or doing you know, after school activities and stuff like that. Um, they're just out on roads, caused loitering, causing hassle, just attracting drama so I think for parents like I said you know yeah discipline your children not even so much physically like beating them you know discipline them positively by getting them involved in community stuff like I said after school activities sports like rec there's, there's enough recreation not as much but there are recreational facilities that you can sign your kids up to and you know that when you get home from work you can call Tyrone, Tyresha, and they say, yeah, mom, I'm on my way from, you know, this class or that class. So, like I said, not so much of a, a physical beating, but hands-on positively, yeah.